Yo, what's up guys? Today I thought I'd run through my bioactive bearded dragon setup. Let's get stuck in. When building any setup of any kind, you kind of have to think first of the core elements of what you're going to do with the cage. So obviously we're going to have to have a basking area for the bearded dragon. We're going to have to have sort of a middle sector, which I normally call the hide bit, because I always like having hides in the middle, just because sometimes in the Australian temperatures where they originally come from, they will go to places that aren't warm but not cold to hide, so I think that's quite essential. This one I put in on purpose, I wanted him to have this hide. This wasn't actually meant to be a hide, it was just a log for him to kind of sit on. But, funnily enough, I don't know if you can see that, he has his own hide, he's made it. He dug down, there's about four inches of dirt in here. Well, cocoa husk, which is the best thing to use in any bioactive setup, just because it's full of nutrients for any bugs that you want, might want to put in there and it's also healthy for the dragon so it's always a good plus side but so we've got about four inches he literally on the first day started digging down which I was quite chuffed with because I, it's always nice to see your animals kind of making their own furnitures around the vivarium then we've got some nice grass safe to use this isn't just grass that I've plucked out from the garden I went specially to a, a nursery where I bought this. It's also, this one here is actually a strange type of spider plant, which I thought was kind of cool. There's a lot of plants you can use for bearded dragons, bioactive setups, and spider plants are high up in the list. There is some stuff, just having a little bath, okay, as you do. Um, down here, we've got his food dish. Obviously, we've got mixed greens put with the bearded dragon mix from Arcada, and we've also got some. Nutribol powdered in there as well, and we've got a wax worm here just because whenever you change up their setup, they always go off their food. And obviously, this is his fourth day with the setup, so he's still not quite there. Normally, it takes for him about a week and a half, and then it'll just kick back in the system, start eating, moving around how he normally does, and all that jazz. We've also got the leaf litter dangling around everywhere in the cage. There is an actual purpose for this. It also, it, for me, the leaf litter does many things. It looks better in the actual vivarium itself. I think it looks a lot better. It also provides hiding places for the bugs. In here we've got springtails, isopods, and a few worms. Obviously the worms is more for him to just eat, but he doesn't really seem to like eating them that much. I gave him one earlier, and he just spat it out. But the isopods and the springtails basically are my control in the cage when I'm not around they will eat up all of his crap basically anything that he does they'll kind of sort it out all of the bits of veg that fall out the bowl they will eat up in fact we might be able to see some springtails under here I can't guarantee anything yeah you can you see all those little tiny little white things moving around well they're springtails as you can see, they're actually eating a bit of veg that popped out of his bowl, that's why they're all surrounded around it. Normally, if you can't really find them once you've built up the cage, just look under things, like under the food bowl, under any rocks, leaves, and you'll just find loads of them. Despite making all the noise in the back. Under this leaf, we might have wood lice or something. You don't know. I don't know, loads of springtails. Fair enough. <laughs> all of these springtails, wood lice, stuff like that, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, isopods are wood lice. All of that kind of stuff I bought from Spiral Reptiles along with that bowl. That bowl was only like £1.50, so it's worth it. All of that kind of stuff I bought from Spiral Reptiles. The rocks I bought from my local nursery. It was like £4 per rock, and they're quite heavy rocks. If you went to a reptile shop, they'd try and rip off an arm and a leg and probably put them up for £7 each, because they can. Most people seem to think that anything from a reptile shop is the only safe things to use. I did buy this off the reptile shop just because they were kind of cheap. But normally they do everything on weight and it's just... They just rip you off normally. Just stick away, just have a look in your back garden. Normally you'll find pretty good stuff there as long as you sterilise it before you put it in here. Bake it, cook it, stuff like that. You'll be fine. Uh, what else haven't I gone through? We might as well just go through the lighting as well. Under here, where my finger is pointing, under here, I'm not going to show you because it will make the camera go weird. 
We've got a UVB strip going all the way along, which is always good. You should always have that for bearded dragons or any animal that's active around in the sun. Then we've got our basking point. Here we are. I think that temp the temperatures range between about 100 to about 105. Normally you should aim for about 95 to 105, but we've gone onto the bit of the hotter spectrum at the moment, just because I like I like it being hotter rather than colder, especially at this time, just because it's just better for him. Because obviously where he's not eating that much, this gets to digest. Wait, I've got to show you this. He's literally climbing up all of his grass. He always goes here, and normally in the evening time. By the way, it's like six o'clock in here in the UK. He always just smashes up in the grass. I think it's kind of cool, because obviously he would go there in the wild. There we go. Having a bit of a dig there. And out he comes. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> yeah, the bioactive setup, 100% recommend it. I'm obviously going to be doing plenty of videos on the plant growth, the overall tank and the springtails work, isopods work, stuff like that. How he's doing, Spike. Obviously, he's doing really well at the moment. His tail's all up, he's all alert. It's perfect. But I'm, I'm expecting more progression from Spike just because I know that as soon as you normally put them in a good setup, a bioactive setup, they come more alive. I have definitely noticed him becoming a bit more wild over the past few days. Normally, just eight bast, eight basks. But he never really did anything else. Now he's like roaming around his cage, smashing into grass, as you just saw there. He just comes more alive, and it's how you would expect to farm in Australia. And for me, that's what it's all about. You always want to try and push your reptile or amphibian or any animal in that matter to how they are in the wild, just because it's more interesting to set up a really good looking tank that looks how it should, bioactive, and it all works in its function. Because you kind of get to understand and see the animal cooperating with its environment like he is now. He just looks so good at the moment. And I, I feel quite proud to have him as a pet when it's in a bioactive setup. Because when they're not, they just kind of sit around and don't, you know, do as much. In my personal opinion, you do obviously get the bearded dragons that are still really active. My one wasn't really not active. But he's come more alive since I've done this. He He's appreciated it, which is good. It's always good. Obviously, I built this cage for multi-purposes, this whole bioactive setup, because it looks more appealing to the eye. I don't know if you've guys seen my last setup, but if you go back to a few of my updates, I think it was like a month ago, you get to see his old setup, and it just didn't look anywhere near as good, in my opinion. Right, that kind of wraps up the video guys, leave your comments and concerns in the comment section below and tell me about your bioactive setups if you've done any, because I'm just always interested to see what animals you've got into bioactive setups, just so I can learn myself and let everyone else know. Alright, see you later guys.